hope you're all ready for this one. It's incredible. So we don't have a Tony Fines episode for this beautiful piece that we got, but um, that way we can just hop right in to our Tony Restores video. So there she blows. Just a truly incredible piece. You look the intricate details here. It's an old Japanese jewelry box. Just truly incredible how cool it is. Got some really unique dragons on the upholstery. So I'm not sure what I want to do with the upholstery at this point, but we're going to play around with it and uh, make a decision. So first things first, as always, we're going to clean it up. I'm going to go ahead and take the hardware off. Um, and then we got to sand it down. So there is only where's one flaw here, a couple of flaws that we'll have to fix. We're missing a leg. So what I think we're going to do is just remove this veneer completely and have it be a flat resting box. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all that, take the hardware off. And what's also really cool about this is there is actually a music box on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and try and pull that out. Potentially fix it. If you can't fix it, then it won't go back in. But just a really beautiful piece. And the only other thing I need to do as well is go ahead and super glue the top here together. It's coming apart on this top left corner. So I'll go ahead and super glue that up. But this is just going to be an incredible piece when we're finished with it here. So stay tuned. everything ready here let's go ahead and give it our first primer coat cleaned it up with some apple cider vinegar give it a nice little light sanding and we're gonna prep it for the prime so I can't bring myself to, to take this upholstery out it's just too nice so I'm just going to have to prime it, put it on there, and I'm going to have to find a way to clean this. And there's certain products I can use. If you guys can see, it's really, there's some areas that need to be really cleaned up, but I just can't, I can't remove it. It's so cool, even though the blue is not great. I'm really going to have this in a detailed piece, so. Prime time. Oh, you know I'm getting up. Coffee. Coffee. Getting up. So the world is waking up. So the world is up. So the world is up. I said the world is up, pop, pop. I said the world is up, the world is getting up. I said rise and shine, gotta rise and and rise and shine. I'm just gonna experiment with this one. Play around with some colors and try to make it as cool as possible. So hang out, enjoy the vibes and paint with me, huh?
All right, guys, we are back. We're going at it on our Japanese piece with the music box. It's looking good. So it's the dragon here. I'm gonna fill that in with some red scales and we're gonna paint uh, sky blue here. I'm not sure if I should add a, a sunset or what, but exciting stuff. It's coming together here. All right, guys, painting is completed. Uh, we've got it all finished and dried here. So next and a couple final steps is gonna be to give the upholstery a good cleaning. We want to, uh, to make sure we get it as white as possible, lighten that white up a little bit, pick up some of that uh, blue junk. So we're gonna do that now. We got a little mixture here of oxy powder, dish soap, and really hot water. We got a toothbrush. We're gonna give it a good scrubbing and uh, hopefully we can clean this up a little bit. So I've also went ahead and sprayed the hardware. So once that's done and clean, we're gonna reattach the hardware and move on to the final steps. here look at the final product so it has been completed so I don't really know how I feel about this piece I kind of went a little too artsy fartsy with it um, it is definitely interesting to say the least but at the end of the day it's pretty cool um, very colorful. I wish instead of using watercolor paints, I would have used acrylic. Uh, that was definitely my mistake, but it does got a little bit of a pop to it. We kept the upholstery, uh, just gave it a little bit of a cleaning. So it's still fully functional and the box is fixed. Some, uh, some spray on it. And then this little pin here 
is what starts and stops the music. So very cool guys, there she blows, another piece restored, very cool. So we got a little preview here of this uh, future episode of Tony Restores, it's a nice little solid oak piece, definitely needs some work uh, and some little bit of love and tender. Uh, We got some nice big doors, lots of space in here for tons of goodies. So coming up soon on one of the future episodes of Tony the Stores. Thanks so much for watching y'all, really appreciate it. Uh, we've got the Patreon up, head over to Patreon, uh, Tony, Tony Serpico Restoration. Uh, Hook us up, give us a like, give us a review. We're gonna be, all of our future pieces are gonna be giveaways for patrons. So if you subscribe, um, you can enter the monthly raffle to win one of the pieces that I finished. So head on over there, show some love. Uh, also check us out on Instagram and uh, Green Goddess Interiors on Facebook. Thanks again for watching.